What's going on guys and welcome to Mist Survival, new game that was just released on Steam as of today. The developers are nice enough to send me a copy. I don't really know what to expect, but I like to check out every survival game that's humanly possible. Runs on Unreal Engine. Um, and it seems like it's actually got a lot to it. I mean, it seems pretty specific and there's a lot of different things you can build and do. It's a zombie survival game. Uh, kind of like a single player Survive the Nights, but not as garbage, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, and uh, I guess we're just gonna kind of do a different thing. So, shelter command, crew list, base setting. Player can change base shelter by pressing set as base button. When the base shelter is changed, the rider in your camp will be moved to the latest, uh, the last position of base shelter. Base shelter active range is 50 meters. Uh, so this is set as base. I'm assuming when we die, we spawn here. Okay. And we can rest here or we can destroy the st structure with C. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Looks like we got a saw out of it. All right. Can we like punch? Yeah. So we just have normal punch. We have a little bit of stamina. And uh, I think it's time to just get it going. So this is our crafting menu. We can get some animal meat, some salt. Basic arrow, sleeping bags. I mean, I thought this was going to be 100% just straight garbage, but I mean, <laughs> to be honest, so far, I'm, I, I, it's not too bad. I was kind of getting a little afraid of most survival games that are coming out in early access, but we'll see how the rest of the game plays if it's kind of bland and there's nothing else to do. You guys obviously saw that text in the beginning as well, which uh, kind of explained the story a little bit, and uh, it really didn't change much about the story. And it is single player. I'd like for something like this to go multiplayer. If it's good enough, of course. But who knows? We gotta be very careful. We don't want to deal with any zombies. We press tab. We have health, hunger, thirst, fatigue, stamina, cold, time of day, temperature, day one, about few months to winter. Seems like they need some English translators and whatnot as well. Uh, I could kind of tell that with reading the beginning text of the game as well. So um, if you guys want to help out the development, I'll leave the Steam link in the description down below. It's called Mist Survival. I don't know uh, if we're going to be able to find, hopefully, a weapon soon and be able to murder some zombies. I like a good old-fashioned zombie killing. It's made with Unreal, so it's running beautifully. There is an FPS counter in the top right. It's hard to see, but we're running at about 60. E to pick up the wood. Empty bottle. Got some components. There we go. Got a combat knife. Hell yeah. How does one pull out this combat knife is the question. Rag, okay, so let's go with I. And can we, like, equip it? All right, we put it on our hot bar. Ooh, there we go. We're actually kind of using it like you would a combat knife in most scenarios. All right, not too... Is that a zombie laying on the ground? No, not a zombie laying on the ground? All right, let's keep on going. So just up here, looks like we have some sort of town rolling up. I want to check this real fast. But yeah, so I want to discuss today... Uh, the rise of the survival game. It's coming back. It really is. A lot of survival games are releasing. Obviously, we had Wrath Survival more recently. We have Fallout 76 coming up in the near future. And a few other uh, pretty cool games on the horizon, like Scum and Green Hell, that are coming out at the end of August. We have Universe Sim, which is kind of a, a survival... I think we're already here. Uh, kind of a survival game, more or less, I would say. How do we regain... Okay, so we regain stamina very slow, so we should not waste this in case we get into a zombie scenario. Um, but yeah, the, the return of survival game is kind of coming up, and the fall of Battle Royale seems to be beginning. Uh, Fortnite's on a huge downtrend, PUBG's on a huge downtrend, every, every uh, b not survival game, every Battle Royale game that comes out seems to be kind of on the way under as well. So, I'm hoping that we get some new survival games coming out, and this looks like a vehicle. I saw in the trailer that you can fully repair vehicles. So, I'm hoping, maybe, just maybe, it says we can drive it. This is a drivable vehicle, but look, it needs tires. It needs a little bit of everything. Engine start, stop. Nope. Not getting no engine out of that. I don't know why I can't just take this one. This perfectly fine looking one. Right. Oh, and it seems like there's like a forge over there of some sort. I assume we can craft some weapons or something there. Let me check out the barn. Maybe this is kind of like a starter home type of thing that you'll be able to work with. They put it pretty close to the spawn zone, that way you have this stuff available to you. You can park your cars in here, it seems like. Alright, so what exactly do we do with these forges? So we melt materials. This is the time, and it melts down to certain things. Can I melt an empty bottle? Doesn't seem like it. Wood, cola, components, crafting materials. So maybe we can actually mine, perhaps? And then this is a forge. Okay, we can craft an American Eagle. 
with metal ingots. We can craft a basic axe, pickaxe, hammer, and materials, arrowheads, and whatever. So I assume maybe we can get a pickaxe down the line and mine metal and then smelt it down. Seems like there's actually a lot going on with this game. Oh. That's scary. Oh my. Okay. We're a little spooked, boys. Little spooky. And be careful. Alright, let's keep moving. Mmm, yeah, I don't know if I want to even attempt that. Can we get in here? I don't think so. Alright, I think we're going to have to take on the zombie. There's a couple in there, though. Oh, here we are. Oh, God. It said it had, like, F to execute or E to execute or something. Uh, do we have any bandages? Can we craft bandages? Oh, I don't have any booze and I don't have any cloth. Uh-oh. We're severely wounded. Oh, and now we're dead. All right. Time to revive. And we lost all of our items when we got knocked unconscious and our knife got damaged. It seems like we're healing. All right, so I clearly wasn't ready for that. It seems like we... we I mean, it's... I, I'm okay with this. Honestly, it gives me kind of something to work towards. You know what I mean? It seemed like I had an execute button of some sort, but didn't give it to me. I didn't even realize I was that close. I kind of like went in some weird roundabout way. So this is the house that I just died in. We could just keep going in and keep trying to kill the zombies, but I just curiously wonder if maybe we can find a house that's got something a little better than a combat knife to start us off. That car is not repaired either. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this looks better. I doubt there'll be any zombies up in this biznatch. Oh, look, it's got like a home symbol. Open shelter command. Manage room by clicking the green space. Set as base. So, oh, we got a new base. Okay. So this is where we'll respawn now. Another combat knife. Heck yeah. This is our inventory. Oh, okay. So this is the loot. Okay. This some got some storage going on. And then we can actually reinforce the walls. Eat interact. This is already just feeling like a more developed survive the nights. Honestly, that's what it kind of feels like. And uh, this game was very low on the horizon of things that I knew about. So you need nails and a hammer and boards to board up. I'm assuming that at some point we might get attacked by zombies. We have a water barrel right here that I'm assuming we can. Yeah, so you can put water in there once we find water and uh, use that. And uh, this is our new home. There's a car outside that we can slowly start to repair. When I grab you, you look out of the ordinary. Ooh, a little box truck back here. A little campsite as well. Hopefully no zombies. It's a really dumb looking truck. <laughs> toot toot. Got some components. Ooh, bandages. Nice. Do I hear a zombie? I'm hearing some stuff. Some components. Some soda. Alright. And a little bit of scrap metal here. I don't know if I have weight. Truly hoping that we don't have weight. No, it looks like just an inventory actual number. Harvest, no abnormally. So status, this is telling our status. We can use the bandage. Alright, so let me go ahead and... Treatment. Excellent. And then how do we actually treat it? Click symptom icon for detail. Performance excellent treatment. Okay, so maybe I just need to move this down here. Three for treatment. Okay. Three for treatment. Click here. Game save. I don't really know if I'm doing something wrong. It seems like it's like four hours to recover. Performance excellent, but it won't let me like click on this. Maybe... Oh, that didn't do it. All right, something we'll have to figure out. And if you guys play the game, you guys can let me know. I just probably am doing something wrong. All right, so yeah, obviously, as you can see, there's some placeholder items and whatnot going on there with the water drinking and whatnot. 
Um, this looks like a motel that we're gonna go ahead and die at. I do have a newer combat knife. This one's 1%. We have 100%. Or 0%, that is. And this is 100%. So maybe, just maybe, if we sneak properly. Ooh, so we got some rocks, some blueberries. Some leaves, so some basic crafting items. Is that a feather? Branches. Okay, maybe we can craft a bow. Sleeping bag, bandage, basic wooden arrow. So I'm seeing the basic wooden arrow. Okay, and then equipment here. We have our quiver, our feet, and our clothing. Crafting. We can craft a stick. Craft yourself. Alright, we crafted a stick. And see, I see wooden arrows, but we don't have an actual bow. I assume we just can't craft bows yet, maybe? Pick up some of these rocks. I'm assuming they're gonna stack. Perfect. Alright. Now this place. Looks like there's probably gonna be zombies here. I really hope not, because I'd like to find like a pistol or something. You know what I mean? I like how the items are out and about and you don't have to search inventories as often. I mean I did search those lockers as you saw before, but pretty empty in here. Oh, we got some wood piles. Can't grab those. What about that? Nothing. Alright. We just gotta kinda keep our ears peeled for zombies. Nothing going on here. Okay, this place is a little bit more furniture, but again, just kind of a little bit of nothing. I don't hear any zombies. Okay, so these are actually furnished. So just maybe, maybe, maybe we'll find something in one of these ones. No luck so far. Ice box, no. You hear a zombie. I do not want to die again, and I do not know how to heal, so avoid. See in the bottom floor. Oh no. Back room. Oh god. Oh my god, the noises are actually pretty scary. Alright, I'm personally gonna back out of this situation. Seems like the upstairs is a little more dangerous than the downstairs. And we're out of inventory room, so I'm actually going to run home and drop off some of this stuff. Um, I'm a little curious because I have all this scrap now, right? We have this eight scrap, so maybe we can smelt it down into metal. And then with that metal, maybe we can craft the hammers and the axes and that type of stuff. And then maybe, just maybe... We can start getting, like, a bow or something. I need some type of ranged equipment, and it seems like I can't scroll here, so this might be all the basic crafting that can be done. Um, and here we have dry meat, so I'm assuming we can we can hunt somehow. So it seems like the bow is going to be the way to go, as some would say. Open up the door. All right. A little bit of storage going on in here. Components, we'll throw you in there. We got some rocks, some of this wood. We don't necessarily need to carry all this stuff around with us, you know? Some sticks, we'll hold on to them, and we'll find plenty of sticks, right? And then we can go try to use, see... Oh yeah, use for melting to make metal ingots. So let's go ahead and bring those over to... Uh... The smelting place that we just found. Oh, look! A hammer! And some more rocks! Okay, bitchin'! That's good. Stack some more rocks in there, and now we have a hammer, which is a crafting tool, which is going to allow us to actually reinforce these windows with nails and boards. I wonder if zombies, like, attack at night. I, I sincerely hope not, because we aren't ready. Um, I wonder if we can make that down there our home. This is underground. I don't want to get anywhere near that. I'm just going to get an idea of what's in it. Okay. We got a couple of houses down there. We got a little campsite here. I'm going to check the campsite out real quick. 
Like I said, I'm really looking for some type of ranged weapon bow or something like that. Nothing in the loots there. Oh, we got a saw. Beautiful. I think we already had a saw, didn't we? But we died with it. We can't eat that. That's lame. Look at this. A nice spot. Another underground car. We have a couple of stores down here, but I'm not sure that these are looking too friendly. We'll roll up and he see if we hear any zombies. See if we hear? Hear if we hear? See if we hear. I think it's the, the correct way to say it, but that's fine. Game is not bad looking. It's coming together. It's a good baseline, I would say. Definitely be able to do a couple of episodes on the game. Of course, if you guys are enjoying it. That looked like something we could grab. It's not. Components. Train right there. Locker, anything good? Some food, not bad. Some sugar. Some scrap. You gotta loot each one. That's pretty cool. Do they stack? Bandages do stack. Can't loot the bottom one, though. Weird. Ooh, rifle ammo. Ooh, that's a good sign. I mean, it's like an upstairs. None of that can be grabbed. All right. Nothing going on here. Imagine if this was like kind of like a miscreated. Kind of had like a bit of multiplayer functionality to it as well. Some PvP. Which I'm assuming down the line they're going to want. It can almost kind of be... Oh yeah, dude. All right. We need to make some room. Um, we don't need the stick. We got a little too much scrap, I'd say. I'm trying to get the ammo. I gotta move the scrap over. All right, so this is gonna make things a little bit easier for us when it comes to the zombie murdering. Does it have? Because I have it out, maybe. All right. Two bullets. But if we can use it correctly, we could kill zombies inside a house that's going to give us a lot of different things, you know what I mean? We kill a couple of zombies in a building, I'm assuming the zombies are near better gear, you know what I mean? There's a reason why they're there. A full-blown car battery. A used car battery. Mm, we'll have a, we'll remember where it is. We'll remember where it is. Alright, so you guys got to hold me to it. If I need to repair a vehicle... Car battery inside this here building, all right? You guys hold me to it. We are clear. We got more 9mm ammo. Beautiful. Um, how's our hunger? We can just eat some stuff real quick. Go ahead and eat that so you see our thirst and hunger is going up. That actually had food and water in it. Beautiful. We have fatigue as well, so I'm assuming we're going to need to sleep at some point. Let's eat a nice beef can. Good beef can in the morning. <laughs> oh, that did a lot of hunger, though. Did like more than we needed. And then right here. Let's drink that. Alright, so now we're good on food and water. We freed up a little bit of inventory room. We can grab more 9mm ammo. Load it into the gun. Now we can kill four zombies as long as we're accurate. I had a feeling that when we found ammo, we'd find a gun. Even though it's not the same ammo for the same gun, but it works. We already looted in here. Alright. We can head on home, it seems like. I already looted down here, right? I checked the bottom floor. I did. It's completely empty. Besides these rags right here. Okay! So not a bad start! Not a bad start! Not a bad start at all. Let's head on home. I could either loot the motel or I could loot that farmhouse. If you guys could decide for me, leave a comment. Should we do the farmhouse or should we do the motel? And then we'll clear it with our bang bang bang. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please like it. Subscribe if you're new here. There will be more of this game. I'm pretty much, no matter what, it's a pretty nice, basic survival game. Again, early access. I think it's like 12 or $15 right now. So, um, if you guys support it, obviously it will continue to be developed. That's obviously kind of how development works. You need to get money to be able to develop it. And so far, I mean, it seems like it's mostly just like bought assets, but it seems to be running and working pretty darn well. So I wouldn't mind seeing this continue in its development processes. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.